everyone. Welcome to Storytime in Sea Club. Yesterday's clue from Oberon was this hat. He's wearing it now. And the name of the book is The Magician's Hat. Family Fun Day at the library was filled with exciting events. There were book scavenger hunts and storytelling read-alouds. And uh, Today, for the first time, a magician was invited. He arrived with a bag of tricks and a big hat. Everyone gathered to see the magician perform. First, he bent a spoon just by looking at it. Then he made playing cards float in front of his nose. The magician could even make a coin appear from a puppy's ear. When he waved his hand, a banana vanished. Well, this was just the warm-up act. Now the magician was ready to dazzle the crowd with his favorite trick of all. The magician's magic started with a story. When I was a little boy, my mom and dad brought me to this very library on Family Fun Day. During the book scavenger hunt, I wandered into the reading room. There were hundreds of books, books about dogs, books about pirates, books about planes, books about the sun, the flowers and rain, cities, dancers. Well, out of the hundreds of books, one special book jumped out at me. It was a book about magic. I read and I read and I read every single word on every single page. I discovered that book wasn't just about magic. I learned that books are magic. Even though I was still, still in the library, those pages and words took me places that I had always dreamed about. That's how I knew I wanted to become a magician when I grew up. Soon after that, I got my very own magician's hat. Family Fun Day crowd had gathered and grown. The kids were from all over. They were eager to see more of the magician's magic. He asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Molly shouted, I want to be a dentist. The magician invited Molly to reach inside his hat and she dug deeper and deeper and deeper until she felt something. Oh, it's, it's a book. Molly shouted, and the magician asked, what is your book about? My book is about teeth, cleaning teeth and fixing teeth. Oh my gosh. Right away, like magic, Molly saw herself holding a toothbrush, a rinsing cup, but in the library, everyone could see. Molly was hugging her book and smiling. Joseph had been watching closely. After seeing Molly's magic, he wondered, what else is in that hat? He called out, I want to be a famous football player. And so the magician offered Joseph his hat. Let's see what magic you can find inside. That, uh, let's see, Joseph reached in. Way down, there was something that couldn't fit in just one hand. No, Joseph plunged both hands into the hat and pulled. Oh, it's a book about football. It even has my name on it. All at once, like magic, Joseph was on the field, running and catching and punting, tackling, oh, oh, and lots of times winning. Graham called out from the back of the crowd, wait a second, that's not magic. Molly and Joseph's parents must have told the magician what they want to be when they grow up. The magician asked Graham, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. This was Graham's chance to prove that the magician was a fake. He snickered and said, a dog. The magician asked Graham to reach into his magical hat. Graham said, I can't feel anything. Sometimes you must really reach and stretch for what you want. That's part of the magic. Well, Graham reached deeper and deeper until his fingers grabbed onto something. He clutched a beautiful book that had nothing to do with dogs. His page was filled with letters, paintings, and fold-outs. 
stars, planets, rocket ships. Graham had always dreamed of becoming an astronaut and exploring the open sky, hurtling into outer space, zooming to a far off galaxy. Whoa, whispered, whispered Graham, how did you do that? I'm not doing anything, the magician said, you are. I am, said Graham, but there's gotta be a secret trick in these books. The desires that are within you bring out the magic in these books. Follow your dreams and they will take you wherever you want to go. The magician turned his hat so everybody could see inside. What are your dreams? And the question made all sorts of magic appear. And that's the end of the story of the magician's hat. Fabulous, fabulous story. So let's see. Our birthday today is going to be Logan's. Oh, Logan is going to be four years old. Yes. And I'm sure his family's going to have a wonderful party. But we, we want to sing to him too. All right, Logan, are you ready? I know you mentioned to me once you like vanilla. I don't know how the votes are going to go though. Let me check to see who's voted. I hope you get your wish. All right, so it's going to be Henry, Graham, Audrey, Lila, Joseph, Alice, Molly, Marlo, Hudson, and Elijah. Mm -hmm. It's for chocolate, it's going to be um, Nicholas, Emily, Harris, Riley, Debbie, B, Ben, India, Sophia, and Henry. Another Henry. Nine chocolate. Ah, ten vanilla. Good, very good, very good. So it is. Logan's going to get the cake of his choice. <laughs> All right, let's sing everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Logan. Happy birthday to you. All right. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. Do you have a clue? Let's check. Oh, look at this. It's very tiny. Looks like a tiny little book. All right. So, see you all tomorrow. And remember, I love you all very, very much.